Hey everyone, it's Joe here from Geoworm Security. Today I want to teach you guys how to program in a Honeywell 5898 wireless motion slash temperature sensor. Alright, you can program this for a few different things. And what we're going to program it today for is motion. Alright, and we're programming it into an L5200. So, the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to want to go into programming on your panel on the bottom right, more, tools, 4112, default installer code. From here, you're going to program, zones, and we're going to put this in as zone 2, the first zone on these panels. We're going to edit, and now we're going to put our serial number in here, okay? If you look on the top of the sensor, you're going to see the bracket to open it, and you're going to notice a bunch of dip switches in here, a sensitivity, and our serial number which is right on top. So this is what we're going to put in. Once you have your serial number put in, you want to set the loop number to the correct loop number. So depending on if you're using this for motion or for high temp, low temp, or whatever you were going to be using it for, you'd have to look in your instruction manual to see what loop number to set it to. And also those dip switches that I pointed out to you, those actually have to be positioned according to what you're going to program it for. Alright, so we have everything set up. Uh, we're doing this again for motion. So you want to go to device type and you're going to click motion sensor. From here, if you wanted to put in a description, you would just highlight what you wanted to put. And when you're all done and all programmed up, you're going to save it. Alright, if you wanted to add any more, you would just go to the next zone and continue. Otherwise, for now, return, return and you want to allow installer to re-enter programming. Okay, that is how to install a 5898 Honeywell wireless motion slash temperature sensor into an L5200 panel. If you have any questions or comments, please down below. Otherwise, give us a call at one 4 geoarm or visit us on our website, www.geoarm.com. Thank you.